Hey there. Truck Wagon RV here again. I'm going to show you something. Um, this is the end of the road. And there's all kinds of trails here. That's mainly what this place is, is trails. Bicycle trails uh, type of thing. But let me see. Around and this is the Virgin River. Uh, I'll show you how high this is. It's like the Grand Canyon. To me, I think it's grand. I really do. I'm standing on a ledge here. Show my feet. I'm standing on a ledge here. And I'm not getting too close to the edge, but and it's all downhill to the river. The Virgin River is what made the canal in Alabama. Or I'm sorry, not Alabama, Arizona. So you can see it just keeps going. It winds through the country, ends up cutting through them big mountains up there. But I'm gonna show you something here now. I don't know if I can, but I'm on the last campsite. Let's see if I zoom in. Uh, there it is. There's my flag. I'm going as far as I can go. There's my flag on top of my trailer. Uh, it's windy out here. That's how far away the last campsite is from this dead end. You can barely see it. But that's what I'm looking at right here. bike trails down there got to be pretty awesome if you like doing that kind of stuff um, you really got to be a uh, bike enthusiast to uh, want to do all that me myself and I don't uh, don't think that <laughs> I have a bike I think I've rode it 12 times since I left uh, Alabama. I uh, very seldom even take it out. I think when I go home, I'm going to get rid of the bike and uh, probably give that to the kids. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the canopy, a 10 by 10 canopy. Um, I've got $50 invested in that thing. And I'll see if I can find somebody to buy it or it's going to Robbie's house. Or if somebody needs it. But I have it with me all this time. And I have not used it. I haven't even opened it. It's brand new in the box. So, um, I just wanted to show you down at the end of the road. They did say the trail ends. It starts out here so you'll get a bunch of people biking out of here and they go all stupid radio um they uh they start out here and end everywhere now i did buy a backpack this morning um that has a two liters which is uh Probably not even two gallons, gallon and a half maybe of water. So you can have it on your back. I might get energetic because there is an awful lot of hiking trails around here. Don't like doing them things by myself. If I had somebody with me, yeah. You know, but by yourself, uh, something happens. You're on your own. <laughs> So, it's bad enough you camp out in the middle of nowhere, but it uh, could, be, uh, could be worse, get hurt out there. I'm going to flip it around and show you, there's the, uh, there's the antenna, and this is the road to get to my campsite. And once you get to my campsite, it's like uh, 10 more miles to the paved road. And then uh, 
10 minutes, maybe five minutes, you're at Walmart. So it's not the worst in the worst area. But there's the campsite again. Not too many people drive around here. So it shouldn't be too bad tonight. I do have the tent set up. And of course the camper is level and ready to go uh, I think we'll park this camper right like this or park this truck right like this and that way we have the back of the truck where I need it all right I think it's uh, 5 30 here in uh, wonderful I guess it's Virgin Utah and uh, I guess it's time to maybe fix me a bite to eat. I haven't seen those snakes around here just yet, but I imagine they are. This is their area. We're kind of infringing on them. So just an amazing spectacle to just look out over this area. Just amazing. All right, folks, I'll uh, talk soon.